today on Divorce Court. We're in court today because we lost communication. He won't interact with the children. He won't interact with me, but he has time for the cell phone and for his video games. When I'm trying to come on to her, you know, trying to have sex with her, she rejects me and pushes me away, and I feel like she has someone else on her side. I'm at a point where I'm not sure whether I want to continue to work on my marriage or if I want to leave and go in another direction. I want the judge to get down to the bottom of our marriage. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Janisha Doss and Deontay Lewis. The two of you have been married for four years, together for seven years, correct? Correct. And you've been here before, because I remember y'all. <laughs> uh, you were here for Save My Marriage. I had some things to say. Apparently, you didn't listen, so we're back. And I want to see what we saw last time. When you date a child, this is what you get. He's not mature enough to handle a family and a wife. He hasn't got it together enough. That's why he gets angry all the time. He's watching porn. He's doing what a 22-year-old does. If you're going to dip down into the kitty zone, you got to be prepared to raise him a little bit. Mr. Lewis, once you decide you get married, once you decide you have children, your days of being childish are over. Grow up, get a clue. You bought this on yourself in favor of Mrs. Doss. It is so ordered. <laughs> Dipped into the kiddie pool. Yeah. Ms. Doss, what happened since I last saw you, and why are you back again? When we left, we did some counseling. Deontay got better with the porn and took care of that, and he even sought out therapy for anger. But what brought us back before you today is Deontay is not pulling his weight as a husband or as a father, and he's still getting angry over things that he shouldn't be. What's wrong now? What's wrong now is that Deontay has a problem with me having time to myself. He recently got injured at work, and I've been his nursemaid, and everything to everybody in the house. And so I asked about maybe a weekend or spending a one night at a hotel. He has a problem with that. He got hurt at His, work. Yes. At work. Please highlight that. At work. Yeah, I mean, the last that. time you were here, he wasn't working. <laughs> so hurt at work. That's a big progress, isn't it? Why are you mad about it? I'm mad about it is because he takes advantage of the situation. Like, right now, when he first broke his ankle, I was in charge of grocery shopping, caring for the kids, bathing him, and doing all of that, and I was fine. As he started getting better, he started getting lazier, and it wasn't <laughs> like, oh, I'm, I need you to do this because I'm hurt. It's, I need you to do this because I don't want to get up and do it myself. <laughs> I got it. Now, Mr. Lewis, let me, ask, listen, let me ask you this. And this happens to people. People get used to not doing stuff. They get used to being getting taken care of. Did you at some time, not on purpose, but get used to being taken care of and you don't want to let it go? No, no. I'm, Tell I'm, me what I'm, ind I'm independent. So whether if I'm hurt or not, I try my best to That's get up move around, have, you know, uh, spend time with the kids, get our child, you know, help do the dishes, clean Please up. Tell Stop. Me. Now, tell me what it is, how you contribute to the household, broken ankle and all. I get up, you know, I get up, I, uh, I help uh, do the dishes every now and then. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 uh, I, when she, when she starts to cook, you know, every now and then I'll go in there, you know, just to keep her company and, you know, Every help. now and then yeah. I keep every her now company when she cooks. Every now and then. Oh, my You know, like, goodness. just to I talk cook. to her, you know, I just cook. talk to her, you know, and things like that. Don't or whatever. Me. Just so she won't... If you ask somebody what they do during the day and they have to say three times, <laughs> I get up... <laughs> That's all they're doing you is getting know. up. They're not doing anything. Mr. Lewis, let me tell you why she's upset with you. She's upset because you haven't taken on any tasks and responsibilities. You know, every once in a while, I is a person who is just dipping. They're not doing. And a woman or a man who's in a relationship wants to be able to say, hey, this individual has got this taken care of. 
If you think companionship in the kitchen while she's working is taking care of business, you don't know what the business is. That's all I'm going to say to you. <laughs> Having said that, Mr. Lewis, what is your primary complaint about Ms. Doss? My primary complaint is that she complains too much and she just, she's Do easily something. triggered. Do like, easily she, triggered. She... What does she do once she's triggered? Like, she'll just snap and, and shut down. Like, say, as far as, we were supposed to went to the laundromat. You know, I had mm -hmm. a couple dollars and we were supposed to went to go wash. So I bring up the fact, okay, you know, how about this week we go and wash, you know what I'm saying, and get our clothes clean. So when I bring it up, she gets an attitude and be like, huh, and oh my God, and all this other type of stuff, because all she want to do, you know, story. just lay down and, yeah, you know, just sit and chill. And it's well, like, well, we well, have to go and she wash because we got to have clean job, clothes. Does she not? At home. Yeah, at home, but it's a full-time job. Yeah. And she does all the cooking, right? Yes. Because you only keep her company while she cooks, so we know she does all the cooking, right? And I got kids to keep so me she, company. And she's got, what, a four-year-old, a six-year-old, an eight-year-old? I mean, she's working. So all she does is lay down could not be true. How would he now, eat? Now, Ms. Dawes, let me say this. Your primary problem with him, other than lazy, is he's not making any money. But... He had a job at the lumber yard. Can you give him a little room and credit for that? Yes, I give him credit for that. I was making his lunches for that job that he was going to and making sure that he had what he needed. Mm -hmm. I cook and clean. I make money, too. I do whatever it is that's necessary. I make sure the paperwork is done, because some things, you know, he don't understand mm -hmm. when it comes to whether it's job paperwork and things like that. It's just that he's not appreciative. He feels like I have to do the things that I have to do, and it's not because I love him that I'm doing it. And as far as I, me cooking, that's a, that's a full-time thing. Cleaning the house, that's a full-time thing. Right. You could come there anytime and the house is clean. And with that many children, a lot of people cannot say that. Right. But it's not so, just okay, Mr. Mr. Lewis, do you contribute meaningfully to those things, like yes. clean the house and take care of the yeah, children? Yeah, I bought, I bought. Now, I know she likes, she loves to cook. That's one of the things that she told me, she loves to cook. So, she wants to start a cooking business. I bought her a flat top electric stove. She complains so about- So she can get out there and cook, make some money. Yeah. You went out and spent a whole hour. And so, I'm, and so- Helping her work. How dare she? How, right, how dare how you? How dare she? <laughs> And so she gets Okay, I, I think I have got this issue fairly buttoned up. I know what's going on. So now I want to move on and talk about your opposing parenting styles. I try to back up her play. It like it all depends on what they do. Mm -hmm. And it's like this talking about this is not gonna work. You see what they just did. They just lied to you right to your dang face. And so do you. Do you feel like he backs your play? Mr. Lewis, you're only 24 years old, and I've got to say that's a lot of children to be responsible for. Do you find it overwhelming, and do you feel maybe you're a little bit out of your comfort zone dealing with so many children? A little bit, a little bit, because, you know, f for me being 24, you know, and I work, it's like I'm extra tired. You know, when I come off of work, that's, that becomes another problem in our marriage because she feels like I don't spend enough time with the kids because I'm tired. I don't spend enough time with her because I'm tired after work. You know what I'm saying? I got to get up at 5 o'clock in the dang morning. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I catch the bus. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hang on. And, let him finish. And so, you know, she, I mean, she homeschooled the kids. You know what I'm saying? She does, she does a oh, you're hell of a job with the kids. Yes. Yeah. Wow. You know what I'm saying? She does a hell of a job with the kids. You know what I'm saying? So... Do you feel like that you're backing up her play or you have a different way of dealing with them? Or do you disagree I, with her? I tr like, I try to back up her play. It, like, it all depends on what they do. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I just, like, okay, this talking about this is not going to work. You see what they just did. Mm -hmm. They just lied to you right to your dang face. And so do you. Do you feel like he backs your play? No. No, she don't. No, so I, don't. I don't care though. Because if it's a situation, any situation, for the majority of the part, he has a problem with. 
And I don't always talk. I do take away things. Like, they're not allowed to go play, you know, certain, mm -hmm. do certain things. And so they and DNA so room his just problem, playing and clown. His problem is Talking that I'm not aggressive like, enough. But being aggressive does not always work. Being aggressive out in the street could get you arrested. Being aggressive at school could get you suspended. There's a lot of things that aggression does not solve. And if you're not going to find a different way to do it, then the way you're doing it is not working either. So we can both sit here and point fingers all day. But what we need to do is try to figure out how to fix it. Okay. But in the street, though, you got to be tough. No, you no, can't no, be no. out here in this world and just, you know, you know oh, you... just try to talk out the problem. You have to have some type of heart, some type of toughness in you, especially with boys. M M Mr. Lewis, I understand what you're saying. Let me say this about boys. You, you don't teach aggression. You teach self-confidence, and that's different. Self-confidence doesn't come when, you're, when somebody's angry and yelling at you. Self-confidence does, doesn't come from that. That doesn't teach them to be hard and tough on the street. That teaches them to be uncontrolled and as uncontrolled and angry as you are. You are uncontrolled and angry in here. That's what the problem on the street is. The problem is everybody's out toughing one another. Nobody's thinking and nobody's talking. So that, I just want to say that. I'm, but I'm gonna, move on, I'm gonna move on from there and I want to talk about your concerns about his disappearing and not being available. Why do you think he was cheating on you when he leaves like that? What because makes you he think? Because he's gone, like he working a job. Like, where do you have to go until 3 and Away 4 o'clock in the morning? Is there any truth to her concerns that you might have had a situation with another woman? Ms. Doss, you say Mr. Lewis disappears a lot and you believe he's cheating on you. Why do you believe that? Because he'll take something minor and even when the argument is over that'll be his reason to leave we got into it over the stove oh, man. now this stove that he ain't here bragging about oh i bought it blah 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 so he burnt something on it and then instead of not moving, stop it, instead Lewis, of moving please. from that eye and cleaning it and moving on he continu continues to cook on it now he's boiling stuff and then he's doing all of this and I don't know how to take care of it yet. So yes, I get upset because I'm like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna clean that off. And he like, well I am. Just instantly triggered. You can't even. I can't even be upset about something. I appreciate that you got me, and you're being careless with it. Mm -hmm. And so that turned into an argument. So the argument was over. We went. He went in one room. I went in another room. And then the door closed. That was at nine. Uh, about 12, because I give him his space, about 12, 12.30, start texting, you know, where are you? Because not outside. When did he come back? What time did he three get back? Three o'clock. Three o'clock Three o'clock that, three morning. Morning. Three that time. That time. Then uh, last time we got into it over a situation with the kids, that was, that argument was over at 9. He left out at 11 and didn't come back till 4. Okay. Why do you think he was cheating on you when he leaves like that? What because makes you he think? Gone, like he working a job. Like where do you have to go until 3 and Away 4 o'clock in the morning? Okay, but I bet I you if be, I did, when we get into, I don't want to be in the same house as her. I, and I get that. You're angry. It's all loud. It's it, it, and you want to you want to leave to to get your head together. Yeah. And okay, so let's get that, 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 that. Is there any truth to her concerns that you might have had a situation with another woman. The smile yes, says yeah. yes, so cop to it so we can move on. Basically, I met a girl, you know, I, 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 I yeah, I met her, you know, she seen me at the park, you know, and, 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 and we too. started talking and one thing led to another and that's and it, how that It happened. became a sexual situation. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, All right. Long story short. Thank you for the truth. No problem. And you found out about it? I did today. <laughs> yeah. I did today. I thought you already knew. Oh, no, ma'am. No. It was just a thought. Just a thought, but evidently I was correct in what I was thinking. So you didn't actually know, you just thought he was, yes. and you revenge cheated <laughs> just in case. Is that accurate? Yes. Tell me what you did. I met up with an old friend of mine. We exchanged phone numbers. We've been talking. We've been out a couple of times. And I have not been sexually active with him. I care. I have, have an emotional affair because I'm attached to him. I care for him. So why you don't give but me none then? 
stop. Who would want to? But you know Plenty that. Of them. You know, I, uh, you. I guess at the park, trying. You damn but, right. No. Yeah. All right, all right. We're, 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 we're done with this conversation. I, now I'm going to move the ball forward, hopefully back onto the playing field. Much of what I want to say will echo what I said before. You didn't hear me last time, so I'll try to say it differently this time. Maybe I'll get somewhere. You're looking for a man where a boy exists. And uh, the way to get a guy to level up is not to holler at him. The way to get the guy to do better is not to become angry and get an attitude. I understand he's frustrating as all get out. I'm frustrated. Been in here 15 minutes. I want to leave right Work now. There. I get that part. But I, I'm not no, 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 no. <laughs> OK. He's childish. He's annoying. Oh. He doesn't know how to behave like a man. He doesn't know how to take it up a level and, and show up with as much as he can for the woman that he loves and as much as he can for the children that he's in charge of. What he does is he does whatever's comfortable for him at the time. You knew this, and I know you knew this, because I told you. Yeah, you did. And, and you cannot ignore the truth of the matter just because you like the idea of having him. Because the idea of having him will soon get very old. That's what I'm telling you. Mr. Lewis, I asked you to grow up. You chose not to. You have two children now. You don't have any options other than to grow up. You two are going to have to pay. This is a save my marriage. I think that's the most absurd thing I ever heard. I think that you are not looking to level up. I think that you are looking to get away with as much as you can within the context of the circumstances that you are in, but to do no better than you have to do. That's going to frustrate the living daylights out of her, and you two will always be angry with one another. I don't agree with so, that. So I know you don't agree, but then again, you're here for a second time with, a, with an angry woman, an unsatisfied life, a whole lot of children, no money. So I've got a happy life, we a couple money. of quarters, and no need to ask for counsel. So. If you want to get better, the first thing you have to do is acknowledge what's wrong and then listen to somebody who knows more. If you put your ego before that, better never comes. So okay. I don't know what to tell you. I can't help you save your marriage. Counseling won't do you any good if you're not looking to listen, if you're not looking to grow up, if you're not looking to be a better person. All the counseling in the world isn't going to do you any good. I'm going to send you back to one, but I'm going to say the same thing I said last time. You bought this problem by picking up a little boy and expecting him to act like a man, and you stayed a problem because you never turned into a man. How sad is that? This matter is adjourned. <laughs> It's like, why keep coming if it's not going to work? If we're not learning anything, we're not moving forward, or we're moving forward and taking five steps backwards. That, I, I feel like, is just, it's no longer worth it, and I'm not willing to waste the time or energy. Just skip it. You know what I'm saying? There, there's no need to even still stay together. Like I said, co-parent is, is better. She go her way, I go my way, and her, we'll be good.